It's gonna be some stuff you're gonna see that's gonna make it hard. All right. Now, we're gonna break some things down. And as y'all can see, I do have a trade game uh, video up, right? Because we're going to expound on some things. First thing I want to say, though, and I do have something to really, really show y'all, to really make y'all think about what trade game is talking about. Or as far as the email that was sent to them, what they are talking about. I don't know who sent that email. I don't know if it's the real thing or not, but I go by all information. That's how I do it. All right. And I go by that and verify myself what's what. Okay. That's how I do it. All right. And the reason for me sending my people to his video, because it is a groundbreaking video. It stirred up. When I seen it, I said, oh man, this finna be some shit. So I had to show my people, right? I had to show my people. It is some information in it. Okay? I've heard all the complaints. I understand you. Now, watch how I do it. All right? Watch how I do it. Now, a lot of people like to say we're going to put a nail in the coffin, but uh-uh. We're going to pull that motherfucker nail up out the coffin. We're going to open the coffin. Because there's some shit to see. All right? Now, first thing I want to do, I want to get this out the way. And let me tell you something. Trey Gang, man, I don't care what nobody say about this man. He ain't meaning no harm. Do you understand what I'm saying? This man do, this man do not mean no harm. I judge people by their character. And the things that they do, this man don't mean no harm. All right? Sometimes he correct himself and y'all don't even catch it. And I'm going to show you an instance in that. Sometimes he correct himself and y'all don't even catch it. Now, I know that he jumped the gun on some of the information, comparing it to certain videos. He jumped the gun to certain things. He was excited. I understand that. I've done that before. Got excited about some information. Was like, oh shit, y'all check this out. Look, look, look. But we have to learn how to tune ourselves down, gain more control, be a little more humble, and watch, pay attention, then present the face. So, what he did was a great thing to me. All right, so let's get on with it. First thing I want to clear up is this up. And I'm pretty sure he's cleared up. He's cleared it up himself because I just seen another video of him clearing it up. But a lot of people may not have seen it. So we're going to do it on this end. This is going to be a short thing. So first thing I want to show you is this right here. Listen to him. them doors that's the deck for the pool area if you walk through them doors and you cut a left you know what i'm saying you could come to now did you hear him he said if you walk through those doors and you cut a left now anybody who didn't hear that it's also jumping the gun, getting that sighted, quick to knock somebody down. Now, I'm not bringing drama because that's not my thing. I'm here to clear some shit up. All right? Because I respect the information. Like Fed say, truth don't need no help. You got to respect the information. Fuck who bringing it. You got to respect the information. Let's bring that bite one more time and I'm gonna move on.
See now, y'all know back here through them doors. That's the deck for the pool area. If you walk through them doors and you cut a left, you know what I'm saying? You could come to the pool area. All right, now y'all heard that out your mouth. I mean, out of, out of his mouth. Now, this was streamed January 24th. All right, this is recent. We all know this. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, this right here, I just recently seen in one of his community posts. He put a link. I clicked on the link. I said, well, damn, this him again showing y'all what he meant by going out those, going out those doors. I already knew that. I don't know how anybody who has been on this case for this loan has ran down the whole complex of this building, the maps, everything. That's that's what a lot of us was doing at the beginning of this case, going through this hotel, seeing where is what and what is where. That's what we was doing. So how you did not know that when you go out those doors and make a left, you can go to the pool. How you didn't know that? Come on. Now. Again, I'm not getting on nobody case. I'm just saying slow down. Slow down. We all here for information. Slow down. Now listen to this man once again. And as you can see at the bottom, say Trey Gang, this him again. Now, this is way back in January 12th. This before we even talk about the email. Listen to him. Now, look. Check this out. We on the side of the script. Pay attention. Y'all see that? Y'all got the fire oven restaurant. Boom. Don't y'all know what dough that is? That don't y'all know what dough that is? Because you're supposed to know. But it's 2020. You know how long this case been? You're supposed to know. Y'all know what dough that is? Let them tell you. It's the Southwest Entry Hall. This right there where them double doze at. You feel what I'm talking about? And then right here where these doze at right here, that's the pool area. So now how this man telling you that if you go out those double doors, boom, they go to the pool. When on the 12th, he had already told you if you, if you go left, he didn't say it out of his mouth if you go left, but he's showing you the error. That's to the left. He's showing you where the pool area at. And that is the pool. You open those doors, you're going to be right at the pool. Like, you're going to be looking right at the pool. But then he come back in his other video after he get the email and tell y'all if you go out those doors, same doors right here, and hook a left, he said that. All right? So, that's cleared up. Done and over with, with that. All right? Now, the next thing I want to show y'all, we're going to get to some real nigga shit now. I want to get into these statements. Oh, one more thing I want to show y'all. Uh, yeah. Where sometimes when he, he can have wrong information and he'll still correct himself. I want I want y'all to see this. Y'all know we don't play over here. Y'all already know that. All right. Then you got two dudes. Listen. Here you go, y'all. Look, y'all. This is 402. You got 
the dude with the red hoodie on, then now remember now he's talking about when the email says something about the guys in the black hoodies the red you see what i'm saying this is what he's expounding on now watch what he do he gonna say that these are the guys but watch what he say afterwards you got two dudes with a black hoodie on but they ain't got the hoodie on right he said but they ain't got the hoodie on right now understand everybody have their own way of talking that was his way of correcting his himself he just told you but they ain't got the hoodie on right how they ain't got the hoodie on but they still got on black he was correcting himself everybody got their own way of talking you have to study people and study their lingo He's a fast country talker, man. That's all. That's how it go. If you've been around enough country ass nigga that talk fast, he's a fast country talker. Sometimes he correct himself before you even realize. If you ain't listening. Now watch what he say further. But look where they go to. He said, but look where they go to. Which further means he's correcting himself. Okay, they ain't got no hoodies. But look where they go to. He's correcting himself. He's not giving you any bad information on Ill, Ill will intentions. That's not what he's doing. We got to stop this. All right? We got to stop this. Don't do each other like that. We're here for information. Watch y'all, watch where they go to. Now I'm going to show you something that, that he was wrong at that he didn't even catch. I want you to look real good. When they go out that door, they ain't going to go to the left. They're going to hook to the right. But I, underst I understand his, what, he's, what he's intentionally trying to do. I get it. He's hot right now. You see what I'm saying? He, he's excited. He got some see, he got some footage that just might fit what is what these people are saying in this email. I get it. He's excited. But they didn't go to the left. They went to the right. Now as they go out that door, I want see this door right here where my cursor's at. Look that way, you're going to start seeing, especially this guy right here in the white, you're going to start seeing them going to the, to the, to the right, because that door has 10 on it. Man, y'all see that? See, I think he called it himself. Because he got kind of quiet after he said, y'all see that? They went to the right. It's not those dudes. But this does not take from the information is what I'm trying to get y'all to see. We still talking about somebody in the black hoodie, big dude. Right? We still talking about somebody in the black hoodie that grabbed her. We still talking about that. So, even though it wasn't them, it was somebody. Was it? Let's go further. In order to find the authenticity of the email, we have to um, verify something. And the only way we're going to verify that is to go to we're going to go to some statements. Again, y'all know how we do it over here. We, we're going to go to some statements.
All right. This ain't the one I want to go to first. I want to go to this one first. Don't even pause and read that yet. I mean, you can, but we're going to get back to that. All right. Is it this one? No, not this one either. All right. Interview France. Now, this is supposed to be France on the email, correct? So let's go to France statement. France said. All right, y'all see when this shift started and all that. Stated that during that evening, between the hours of one and two, he is not sure exactly what time it was, but he stated they received a noise complaint uh, coming from room 926. Now let's go down here. He say um. He stated that when he got off the elevator, while he was approaching the room, he was asked by two male black approximately 22 to 24 years was standing outside the room and they asked him if something was wrong he stated that they received a noise complaint from the room and he needed to talk to the people in the room he stated that he asked who the room was registered to and the one male black stated it was him so that had to be killer right that had to be killer killer didn't have no black sweater no black hoodie. Even when he walked out of the out of the hotel, he didn't have no black hoodie. All right. Um. Said it was him. Where I'm at. Received no complaint. He need to talk to him. Okay. He stated that he knocked on the door and a girl opened that door, and he told them that they had to quiet down a little due to the noise complaint, right? He stated that he could smell alcohol in the room and he thinks there were possibly 10 to 15 people in the room at that time. He stated that the girl stated that she will tell the people inside the room. The girl stated, now who was this girl? Well, according to the email, let's go to the email. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to say y'all can't see this. All right. Just go to his uh, Trey Gaines uh, recent video and, you know, just kind of scroll up through and you'll see, you'll see the email. That's if you can't see this. But just follow along with me for right now. Uh, he stated... Hold on for a second. All right, right here. They offered me weed and alcohol before an orange hair girl. Who is they offered him? Well, let's go back up a line because this hotel policy. Hold on. I stepped off the elevator and saw three guys. He said three this time. Two with black hoodies. And one with a red hoodie. Again, killer did not have on no white or red hoodies. He stepped in without a hoodie. He stepped out without a hoodie. He stepped in the hotel lobby and entering the hotel. When he first got there, as far as we seen when he first got there, no hoodies. No none of that. You see what I'm saying? When he left, no hoodies, no none of that. So did he have it in the room already, just sitting in the room the whole time or something? We don't know, but we didn't see none of that. All right? So this email, we don't know who they talking about. I get it. But still, it has some information in it. Because, let me tell you something. This statement right here, it's not the only statement that he made and i'm gonna show it to you it gets in greater detail this is just i don't even know how how this even pop but this right here this this is way shorter than what he really told the police all right we're gonna get to that 
So the girl, I just seen it. They offered me weed and alcohol before an orange hair girl stuck her head out the door and asked, what's the problem? Okay, so now we are identifying this girl. This girl is an orange hair girl stepping her head out. Now, I want to show y'all something. Now, <clears throat> it was told that he came several times to the dope. To the point where somebody had to say, well, darn, him again? Or whatever, whatever, blase, blase, right? But what I want to show you is this part, this part right here when he came to the door this time. Because they was, they was getting in. Y'all seen that door open, right? But where was Irene? She ain't sitting there. And you can hear somebody saying you steady wasting it. Sounded, I, don't, I don't know who that was. Because there was many females in there. So we can't just say it was Monifa just because. But what is right here? Like, is this an orange... I mean, not orange, but is this, is this a jean jacket right here at the door already? Because where's Irene? See, they all looking at the door. We already know why. Y'all hear me saying this a Now, that was definitely Irene saying, don't be so loud. So now, while he's fidgeting with this camera, she could have gotten up. While he's sitting here fidgeting with his camera, we don't see this part. We heard her say, my bad, don't be so loud. So she could have got up real quick to go to the dope because it's in her name and, and, and I guess kill her too, I guess. Yep, that go the manager. My car keys, my weed. Now he said that ain't the motherfucking man. That mean they seen him. So he claimed he never stepped inside the room. So I guess the door was open wide enough so he can see them. And he said that ain't the motherfucking manager. Oh, it is the manager. See what I'm saying? Chief. Chief. <laughs> On BD, all of them. Turn that, turn that pappy ringtone off. Now the door is shut. You see what I'm saying? So we don't know who was at the damn door, but it do look like it was a jean jacket already at the door. And I'm not talking about the one that's supposed to be Kanika. I'm talking about at the door. But anyway, let's go past this. Where we at? Okay, girl stated that she will tell the people inside the room to quiet down and they will turn down the music. Uh, he stated that two hours later, he went to check the ninth floor again. And when he got off the elevator, he saw three girls walking in the hallway and knocking on doors. And he asked what they were doing and they told him that they were looking for their friend. He stated that they went back into the room. The next time he saw those girls was at approximately five o'clock. All right. They were asking him where and how they could get back to the parking lot. And he was in the main lobby when they approached him. Okay. All right. This is the short version. Let's go to the long version. Not that one. This one. 
on the afternoon of September 18, I, whatever your name is, conducted a follow-up interview, a follow-up interview. All right. The interview began at approximately 1446 hours. The following is in summary, not verb. Now here he is saying again. I asked how long he had worked for Okay, let's let's skip all that shit. Let's get back to his statement. All right. The long version. I then asked if he had received any calls for noise complaints. He stated that between 2 to 2.30, September the 9th, he received a noise complaint call via radio from the front desk. All right. I asked him, anyone uh, went with him? He stated that he responded to room 926 alone. He continued that when he had exited elevator there were this time there were two male black subjects in their early to mid 20s on their cell phones first it was three what's hold on wait a minute i don't want to get nothing wrong miss can screw now let me see He stated that when he got off the elevator approaching the room, he, okay, it was two male, okay. So he kept it consistent with the police. It's just in the email, the email says three. All right. So he kept it consistent with two. So, he say, uh, he told them that the front desk received complaints that they were being too loud. One of the males stated that he was responsible for the room, the host. Once again, same story. So it has got to be killer. He recalled that one of the men texted somebody or someone in the room to open the door. When the door to room 926 opened, now on the last one, he said he knocked on the door. Say he knocked on that door. But this time he's saying somebody texted somebody in there. All right. When the door to room 926 opened, a black female subject wearing big glasses opened the door. Now this time it's big glasses. In the email it's orange hair. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm not saying versus the email because you still got to understand this is his second statement with the police. This is the longer version. This is his second statement with the police. What does it say up here? Follow up. So this is his second, this is his second version of what he's saying. Way besides the, the, the email, you see what I'm saying? The first time he ain't even really described the female. This time he's saying big glasses. Then in the email it says orange hair. All right. All right. So let that, let, let that show you that it, it is possible that he, you see what I'm saying? Say different things but around the similar uh, situation. But anyway, he told them that the front desk received complaints or whatever, blase, blase. All right, girl, the big glasses opened the door. He continued that there was another black male in his early 20s that was standing behind her. He stated that he didn't enter the room. At the door, he could smell marijuana smoke and could also smell alcohol beverages. All right. Here's the kicker. Y'all ready? I then asked if he asked the group to refrain from smoking. He stated that he did not. One of the male subjects stated to him that old people called the police. He told, uh, he told that he would, he told, I don't know how he knew the person name that he told. 
that <clears throat> that he was young and asked him to take down his phone number to call if there were any more uh, noise complaints. Oh, the, the, the young man told France that he was young and asked him to take down his phone number to call if there were any more noise complaints. Uh, he stated that he did not write down the subject's number. He stated that the two guys in the hallway went back into the room and closed the door. Watch this. I asked, this is the police. I asked, when they normally call the police for noise complaints, he stated, I asked when, it should have been when do they normally, or how they normally call, whatever, he worded it fucked up, but he stated that the hotel usually will call after at least three warnings. I asked him if the hotel usually does an incident report for noise complaints. He stated that they didn't unless someone gets kicked out. All right. Continue that after three hours, he distributed folios to various rooms. That's when he was running back and forth. Um, well, not running back and forth, but he did come out with uh, 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 a tablet or notebook with papers and shit on it. You know what I'm saying? He did He did come out with that. And I seen that. Um, let's go further now. Matter of fact, no, let's stay right here. Watch this shit. The front desk called over the radio that three girls were walking on the ninth floor. When he made contact with them, one of the females said that she was looking for her sister. He was told to tell the group that they either needed to return to their room or go to the lobby and wait there. Stated that he told the group that, uh, he, he told the group that would they would have to speak to the front desk about reviewing any cameras. Guess what they do? The group then returned to their room. Now, he said it was three girls. But my question is this. He continued that after three o'clock, basically three o'clock in the morning, he distributed folios to various rooms. The front desk called over the radio that three girls were walking on the ninth Floor. How did he know? How did the front desk know that three girls is walking the ninth floor? Why wasn't it? Um, hey, we're getting complaints that um, it's some girls knocking on the doors of the of the uh, clients or hotel or you know residents. Um, hey, uh, I need you to get the ninth floor. Um, there's reports of. Some kids just knocking on people's doors. Yeah, it's more than more than one report. People just keep calling in saying that somebody's knocking on their door. That ain't what you saying. You saying you. Look. Three girls was walking on the ninth floor. He called over the radio that three girls is walking over the ninth on, on the ninth floor. How you know that? Who calls in and say, hey. Um, front desk. Yes. Uh, it's three girls walking and walking the floor. That's not a complaint. Three girls walking the ninth floor. That is the radio call to the security. Hey, there's three girls walking the ninth floor. Nigga, that sounds like surveillance. Now, this email says that there's surveillance on every flow. Could it be possible that they don't have visual cameras? They have hidden cameras. Could it be possible that the hotel has hidden cameras on each floor? They don't want them visible. 
Could that be possible? Let's look over here at this statement. Same statement, right? The well, same guy, approximately the same statement. Let's put this in its proper position. He stated that two hours later, <clears throat> this is on the short form, his short statement. He stated that two hours later, he went to check the ninth floor again. And when he got off the elevator, he saw three girls walking in the hallway and knocking on the doors. He went to go check. That's his first statement. His second one, he said, he got a call from the front desk, the front desk called over the radio that three girls were walking on the ninth floor. This is not you checking. This is you getting sent. And this is not even a complaint. This is somebody viewing. Like I said, nobody complains about somebody walking the halls. There's a party on the ninth floor. So who's complaining about three girls in the hallway? Knocking, that's one thing. But then you would have to have multiple callers complaining about somebody's knocking on their door. Then you can assume that, okay, they're obviously walking the halls, knocking on doors. Because if you're knocking on multiple doors, you have to walk to get to each door. So therefore, you're walking the hall. But they're not saying they're getting multiple complaints about knocking on the door. They're saying, he's saying he just got a call saying that three girls are walking. So is there hidden surveillance? Or is the person on that email playing off of this little information and saying that they are surveillance. Now, here is the ending. This is where we pull the nail out of the coffin. All right, so y'all remember when, matter of fact, let me show you. Y'all remember when after this part, remember the guy that came up in the corner over here? Look at the time, 3.33. Look at the time, 20.34, it jumped, that's 8 o'clock, that's 8 o'clock, 8.34, to be precise, 8.34. So, y'all remember this guy, right? He stated that he checked the freezer temperature. Which freezer did you check? Now, this is 8 o'clock. Listen to what I'm telling you. Listen. You have midnight, which is the 9th. Then you have all that morning that leads into breakfast hours. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up until brunch hours. 11, 12, or lunch hours, still the ninth. Then you go into the afternoon, one, two, three. Then you start falling into the evenings from four, five, six, seven, eight, evening. 
all this time they're looking for Kanika. This all that morning she went missing. Uh, lunch hours, afternoon hours, evening hours. Then this. Right? So this guy here. This is his statement. He is employed with it with the uh it's short. He he is employed with the uh Crown Plaza O'Hare Hotel. He worked the weekend, 9, 8, 17 through 9, 10, 17, second shift from 15 hours at 3 o'clock. <clears throat> That's three um three afternoon to 23 hours, which is 11 in the evening. So three in the afternoon, 11 in the evening. So from the point we seen him, he had three more hours to get off. Okay. His normal routine consists of walking the building and completing a list of various items. One of the items is to check freezer and cooler temperature readings. Well, we seen him, we weren't, he wasn't reading shit. All right. On the daily shift, he receives approximately 10 house calls and 10 guest calls to complete. All right. So on the 9th, at approximately 20 hours, that's 8 o'clock, this is what we're seeing on surveillance, he entered the kosher kitchen. Upon arriving at the door, he noticed the, the wood door was open more than usual. Now, this is not him saying that the door is usually locked. He's saying that it's open more than usual. Meaning it's usually open, but not this open. This is open, open. You see what I'm saying? The door was also open more than he remembered the night before, which is the eighth, around the same hours. Okay? So around eight o'clock on the eighth, he's saying that it wasn't this open. So here it is, 8 o'clock on the 9th, 8 o'clock in the evening on the 9th, it's open. And he's like, hold on, it wasn't like that, that last night. The hell is going on? All right. The door has been open slash unlocked for a few weeks. As he believes they began construction in that area. He said for a few weeks, all right? For a few weeks. Now, if this was conducted on September 22nd, let's count 14 days, that's a couple of weeks. 14 days away from this and this is on September the 8th. That's a couple of weeks. Well, you still have a week after that. I mean, a week before that, cause he said a few weeks. So you still have a week before that, right? So, given his observation, he entered the area thinking someone walked in there. While looking in the area, he checked the temperature reading and soon after receiving, or soon after, received a call. It was from the front desk stating someone defecated in the pool and needs to be cleaned. Now, this is my thing, okay? After spending approximately one minute in the kosher kitchen, which we see, and he did spend exactly one minute because he walked in, looked, and walked right the fuck out. Uh, in the kosher kitchen, he responded to the pool area. At approximately 2040, that's 840, he contacted his boss. 840, he contacted his boss to notify him the pool needs to be shut down down now we're talking about this is the reason why i was giving you uh we're running down the hours right giving you the full visual of what eight o'clock means this doesn't mean eight o'clock that morning this doesn't mean eight o'clock on the eighth before they even got to the hotel before kenny and them got to the hotel we're talking about eight o'clock in the evening on the ninth the evening on the ninth telling you this for a reason because what I'm about to show you might rock your motherfucking boat 
That's why I said we finna take the nail out of the coffin and open the motherfucker. Because if you call me, if I'm checking this kitchen at eight o'clock in the evening, what they got to do with four o'clock this morning? All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. We ain't even hold no more punches on this shit. So I'm going to show you. This guy. But we going to show him going the other way. We gonna show him going the other way. We gonna pause that. We need to see the time, so let me see. I'm gonna do this. Well, I tell you what, we gonna we gonna use the bottom for the time. All right, so we gonna get him at when he hit the four twenty nine mark. I want y'all to see with your own two eyes. Where is he going? Where is he going? <laughs> See him over here? Where is he going? That's the pool area. That's a door to that pool. Of course, over here, let me pause it. Over here, it skips some time because over here, it goes by the 10 second ruling. After 10 seconds, it skips to the next movement which for some reason these cameras move to the next movement before it even gets to the movement but we, that's another that's some other video some other topic whatever but did y'all see what just happened but I'm gonna exclude this one because I just want to show y'all that this is in several cameras. It's, in fact, it's in it is in several cameras, but I only showed you a couple. But I'm gonna show you another camera that they did not show any of this. They only showed. Watch this shit. Y'all see the time? It's four forty-one. We'll move it back. We are gonna get him coming back up this hall. It's full. In fact, it's full 40. He's looking. Now, we're going to stop him right there. I got another camera to show you. Give me a second. second 
Okay, so we're going to go to 440. Now, this camera here is the uh, the hall if you would be coming from hold on let me adjust this time real quick first then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and this is for those who just don't know alright where this hall is Okay, so I can start it at 4.37. All right, so let me show you where this hall is. This hall. All right, if you come down this way and you bend that corner, bend to the right, this is where you end up. When you bend that right, you come in this direction. All right. All of that back there, see those windows back there? All of, that's the pool. All of that is the pool. All right. All of that is the pool area. In fact, let me show you the pool area, man. So it won't be no problems. All right, y'all see this right here? When you go outside them, them, them double doors, going down the um, southwest entry, and you make that left, like Trey was saying, these are double doors you're talking about. You can come in. Boom, you're going to see the pool right there. Boom, biggest day to the left. All right, now, see those windows up there wrapped around like that? See the stain in those windows? Y'all see the stains in those windows? Come on, man. That's the pool. That's the pool. You can walk up there and look down in those windows. That's the pool. All right? That's the pool. So, that's the pool right there. That's the pool area. Those those, those are the windows to the pool. Now, watch him. He's going to come in. I mean, he's going to come down this hall, way down there. That's the lobby. Wait a minute. It skipped. What the hell? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See, at 440, he's supposed to come down that hall. It skipped from 437 all the way to 458. Why it did that? Is it that this camera don't pick nobody up from down there? Why it did that? It don't pick nobody up from down there. Nobody up from down there. It don't pick nobody up from down there. All right. We'll give them that. We'll give them that. It don't pick nobody up from down there. But watch this dude, man. I want y'all to pay attention to this dude. Watch this dude. Now, this is 4.40 that morning on the 9th. So, if he had any problem with something in the pool, he would have called around about this time. Not no 8 o'clock at night when the man who deals with all this kind of stuff comes in at 3. And not only that, you have maintenance there anyway. So, you would have called somebody and told them about what's going on in that pool. If he had a problem with that, he would have called somebody. Right then and there, four something that morning. They wanted to wait it all the way till eight o'clock in the evening. Not eight o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the evening. Not four hours later. We're talking about damn near 16 hours later. You want to call somebody about something going on in the pool? See, this don't match to that. This four o'clock in the morning. You see what I'm saying? Why did he leave from his desk and go to this pool? There's a door there. There's a door there. You can go in the pool from there. There's a door right there. 
You don't think he went in there? You think he stood at a damn door in the dark? Do you think he stood in the door, at that door in the dark? Look how he came out that motherfucker. He like, oh shit. He had to hold his composure because somebody sitting over there. Watch, he gonna wave at him. He's still looking at him. He had to wave at him. Let's look at that shit again. See how he had to hold his composure when he came up out of there? Let's watch that shit again. He looking. He looking at that door. Why did he leave from the front desk to go to that door? What's over there? Like, like, bro, it's four in the morning. Why am I? Bro, I work at the front desk, my nigga. I don't want no smoke. I work at the front desk, my nigga. I don't want no smoke. It's four o'clock in the morning. What made me leave from behind that desk where well, I'm comfortable at? Well, I'm out of trouble. I ain't bothering nobody. Ain't nobody bothering me. I'm at the desk, man. I'm chilling, man. I don't want no smoke. But for some reason, I just leave from behind the desk 4 o'clock in the morning, and I decide to walk my ass straight to this door that goes to the motherfucking pool. I decided to leave from behind the comfort of my desk. Well, I'm just chilling. Looking at my phone like a thousand times and shit. And some just said, dog, let's go to the pool and see what's going on by the pool. Four o'clock in the morning. He goes in that bitch. And he ain't like what he saw. He came up out that motherfucker. Look at him. That nigga looking back and all. Y'all seen it? Come on, man. Quit playing. Something, dog. Something is truthful about that email. And this is, you know what? What's crazy? What's trippy? I never paid attention to this. That email sent me here. I never seen this. I would have been told y'all about this. I never seen this. I don't think I have. I don't remember. I would have been told y'all about this shit. I'm going to play that bite, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. He walking smooth. Know what I'm saying? Going straight to that motherfucker. Just like that manager went straight to that motherfucking freezer. He going straight to this motherfucking pool. Until my no reason, just going. Look, he's still looking. Now he going in that bitch. Watch how he fly out that motherfucker. Looking back at the door. Watch. Seen that y'all seen that shit, man. Then he held his composure. When he got to that little corner, he held his composure. He had to slow down a little bit. Y'all see this? Ain't nobody playing, bro. That man ain't got no ill will. I'm telling y'all. Ain't nobody playing. Somebody sent that man that email. It's some truth in that shit. It's some truth in that shit. And we need to get to the bottom of that shit ASAP. Y'all know how we do it, man.